Christian Zionists are Christians who support the state of Israel and the Zionist movement and give that a theological and biblical justification. They support Israel because they believe the Bible tells me so. And there are different shapes when it comes to Christian Zionism. Some are fascinated with prophecy and fulfillment of prophecy and end times and believe in a literal millennial uh, reign of Christ on Israel at one day soon. Uh, others simply look at it as uh, a sign, uh, the state of Israel as a sign of the restoration of the Jewish people into the body of Christ and look for the moment in which even more and more Jews will come to faith uh, in Christ. Uh, and others simply look at it as a, a way of repenting from our anti-Semitism within the church. And so they look at the Jewish people as still a favored uh, people by God or a chosen people. They look at the state of Israel as a divine miracle and a sign of God's faithfulness to the Jewish people. All of these views are often translated into political support. And so we should not only look at Christian Zionism as a theological belief. It's more than that. It's a political movement, a movement that lobbies on behalf of the state of Israel and many times on behalf of the right-wing Zionist groups in Israel. It's a, a political group that has lobbied, for example, for the moving of the Israel American embassy from Tel Aviv into Jerusalem because in their worldview, Jerusalem is the eternal capital of the Jewish people. And it's a movement that gives millions and millions of dollars not to peace initiatives, by the way, or not to support the Christian presence in the land, but to settlement projects. And let me remind you, settlements that are illegal according to the international law. So these beliefs are translated into action, an action that is oftentimes viewed as uh, hindering uh, the peace process and the coexistence between Palestinians and Israelis. It is important to look at Christian Zionism as more than just a theological beliefs about a certain people group, but it is a movement that looks at the world through uh, polemic binary uh, lenses, dividing people into uh, good versus evil, with the good being the Judeo-Christian tradition and evil being Arabs uh, and Muslims. Uh, it's an ideology that uh, looks for war and predicts war and as such uh, is very uh, militant uh, many times. And in that way, many times they dehumanize nations and peoples and uh, look at nations, including the Jewish people, as objects in their uh, eschatology, uh, rather than looking at people as neighbors with whom we should live, love, and serve. Uh, in that sense, this becomes more than simply a belief about the end times. Uh, it is a worldview that is sadly today even shaping politicians and foreign policies uh, in many countries.